Hi, my name is Jake Miller. Hi, I'm Tom. and I was born with smaller fingers on my left hand. Hi, I'm Jess and I have ADHD and I do yoga. We all have different physical experiences. How do our bodies influence the way we experience the world around us? Aspects from three different courses sparked my interest in this question. First, the mind and body connection that is central to somatics. Second, the way we can communicate using our bodies. And third, the concept of neurodiversity. Neurodiversity is the idea that certain disabilities, particularly autism, are not disabilities at all, but simply differences. As my friend Jake once told me, people with autism can do anything. I like outside activities of Nazareth, going to movies, out to eat, sporting events, swimming, playing basketball, Special Olympics, Challenger Baseball, Voice Unlimited, Best Buddies. However, after talking to people with different experiences, I don't think that neurodiversity applies only to those with disabilities. Each of our minds work very differently, and it is often a result of physical experiences that have shaped us. Um, I definitely think dance has influenced my mind-body connection. Um, through dance, I am instructed a lot of times to feel different parts of my body as opposed to looking at them. And from that, I think I have uh, developed the use of my spatial awareness and I don't rely so heavily on my visual senses. Since learning ASL, I've been very in tune with my own body when I communicate. I'm a lot more aware of how my body language is portraying my message or my mood in that moment. So I'm a lot I get very distracted in my daily life and sometimes it can be overwhelming so I have trouble doing my homework sometimes and sometimes I have trouble sitting still especially in class. Um, I actually do feel like yoga influences my ADHD. I think it helps. I wouldn't say that it affects me in my daily life mostly based on that I was born like that so I've not known anything else so to me this is a normal hand. You know, I still grew up playing sports, basketball being my favorite. Um, I'm decently good at it and everything else, uh, like I said, I don't really see it as a downfall or anything like that. So when I was a junior in high school, we were playing in our Christmas tournament for basketball and I drove down the lane and I jump stopped and I felt a pop in my knee and I knew something happened right away and it turned out that I tore my ACL. So at the time, it was pretty devastating to find out that I had such a serious injury and it was really disappointing because we had a pretty good basketball team and I didn't really want to let all my teammates down. So. We use our bodies for everything we do, so differences can really affect us. I asked my friends how they've used their differences to interact with the world. I like to walk around and talk a lot, ask people a lot of questions. I think growing up, I struggled a lot with ADHD. I got picked on by my teachers and stuff, which is why I'm now becoming a teacher. I've kind of learned ways to help with my ADHD, and yoga is like one of those solutions. So yoga helps me be more mindful. Now that I have some experience with ASL, I really enjoy going to RIT and partaking in some of their sporting events or the activities on campus. It feels a lot more welcoming now that you understand some of what others are saying when they are signing. I think overall tearing my ACL was a good experience because I learned that perseverance and hard work do pay off if you're willing to put in the time and effort and um, going forward in the rest of my life I've been using that and in every situation that I possibly can. I pretty much have the same experience as most other just normal kids. I don't really think, like I've said, it has really affected me. Um, if anything, it just makes me appreciate other people with similar situations or those who are worse off, maybe someone who's cut off at the wrist or the elbow. And I think I can just appreciate more being closer to other people's shoes. In dance, you are almost always in contact with someone else. Um, we do a lot of partnering, a lot of lifts. And so that has really enabled me to instill trust in other people, 
um, to try and help others to trust me and I feel a deeper connection with others. All of the people I talked to focused on the social realm when explaining how they experience the world. While the way each of our bodies and minds work may be different, we still use them to interact with others in ways that give meaning to our lives. The differences in our bodies, both big and small, are inherent to us as individuals and really help to make us who we are. Thank you.